How you doing guys? I'm uh, going to do the Mars Cap mod on this radio. I will annotate down in the bottom the uh, different frequencies that it expands. Uh, I came across another video. Uh, I will also put that link down in the description box where another individual who did this. It's really the only other video I could find on YouTube on the subject. Uh, the only reason I'm remaking it is I'm trying to get a little bit better uh, footage of the actual process for you guys. Um, other than that, his, radio, his video is probably a lot better spoken than I will be able to. Um, anyway, just with that aside, uh, he goes into some of the legality of uh, doing this, and uh, I think he covers it well just in summary by saying, you know, to broadcast on the opening, or any of the frequencies that we're going to be opening up, uh, is illegal unless there is an emergency. So with that in mind, let's just do it. So uh, there is uh, what I believe are eight screws, two in the front, two in the back, and two on each side that we need to pull off here. All right, and that should allow us into the head. Just lift straight up on the uh, front cover. Just like that. And now, see if I can get a close-up of this, but the, what we're interested in is basically all in this area right here. Okay, so you'll see a couple of things going on here. Uh, there is a green wire here that's just kind of looped right here. Up onto that. We're going to remove that green wire, and then there's two resistors here, uh, one right here, and one right here. Uh, we are going to leave the second one here alone. We're going to remove this one, and uh, after this process, uh, I will say in advance, and the other gentleman says it as well in his video, if you have any presets stored, now would be a good time to put the radio back together, take it back to your ham shack, Take all the presets off, uh, store them, because when you do this, the radio is going to reset itself back to factory specs, so you'll have to redo everything. Uh, so, with that said, another thing that I have here is uh, some solder wick. And uh, the way that the gentleman did it was just to take a screwdriver and kind of pry that uh, resistor off the board. That's one way to do it. Uh, certainly would work, but I'm going to try to do it a little more cleanly. Uh, for those of you who have a uh, soldering ability or tools, uh, I'm just going to use a very hot soldering iron. What are we running here? About, about 700 degrees. And I'm just going to pull these guys off. There's one side. There's another. Trying not to make uh, <clears throat> too big a mess here of the connections. And I'll take uh, come back in here with a little solder wick and just try to clean up some of that. more clean okay and the next thing we're going to move is uh, this one's going to be a little more difficult these resistors are tiny so I'm just going to try to get a little bit of the uh, solder off of there And if you're not uh, particularly comfortable doing this with a solder gun, uh, certainly you can uh, go about this using uh, a screwdriver. These uh, resistors do just jump right off the board if you uh, hit them with a little screwdriver like that. Uh, and I'll take a pair of pliers and try to... Here. 
this guy free. There's one side. And I'm going to turn this around so I can get at the other side here. And there we go. And just so you know what we're talking about here, here's the resistor. I don't know if you can see that, but on the end of my finger there, that's the resistor we moved. So you can kind of see it's a real giant one. <laughs> we're not going to need that anymore. So at this point, uh, really, all you need to do is uh, just make sure that you're, uh, that you're happy with this. That's all cleaned up. And there's no chance of anything shorting out. I'm just going to hit it one more time with uh, some solder wicking. Yeah, I like that. A little more cleaned up. Just trying to get that big blob of solder off of there, so... Very good. So yeah, I just want to make sure that this area is free of solder. There's no anything touching each other between the two terminals as well as right here and those are pretty cleaned up so all you have to do is just put this thing back together again and you should be good to go that's about it guys hope it was helpful again check out the other guys video uh, I'll annotate it down here in the bottom somewhere and uh, appreciate you guys watching take care 73's